Broadway may be dark, but lucky for us, the show still goes on. A handful of our favorite Broadway stars have come together for a brand new digital musical about meatballs, mayhem, and murder called A Killer Party. Take a look. Killer Party! And here to tell us all about it is Laura Osnes. Laura, it's so good to see you. Hi, so good to see you too. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my God, it's just such a pleasure. Um, we're going to get to the show in just a second, but how you've been holding up? How you've been keeping busy? Good. Thank you for asking. Um, I've been super grateful. My husband and I have been uh, in Connecticut. We have a house here, so we got out of the city early on when the quarantine happened and... Yeah, sur surviving, cooking a lot, playing games, um, playing some ping pong, spending a lot of time with our dog and being on the water. And so we are all missing Broadway. Uh, and, and it was so great to see the community create content in this way for this murder mystery musical. Yeah. I still want to talk about how did you even become a part of this? So my pal Jason Howland is a total genius. He's an incredible um, songwriter and producer. And Jason had this idea of something that all of these artists who are out of work could do and be productive and creative during their quarantine time that would also produce a little bit of financial benefit for all of us because we were getting asked to do so many free things early on in the quarantine. And I think it was all hands on deck and everybody wanted to step out of the, uh, up to the plate and help in any way that they could. But this is also the way we make a living and yeah. you can only give away your voice and a song and whatever for free so many times because this is our livelihood. And Jason, um, wanted to come up with a, a sustainable way for us to continue to create art during this time. And not only for all of us, but also for an audience who misses Broadway, like you said, who misses theater. We do, and it's an awesome cast. Tell us about the show, what it is, and what fans can expect. Yes, so it's nine episodes, each that are about eight to 10 minutes long, and each episode has two to three original songs that Jason co-wrote, and uh, the, we all recorded on our phones and have been produced and put to tracks. There are over 50 people involved in making this happen, but it essentially is a murder mystery musical where this director at a theater in Duluth, Minnesota has this idea to have six actors and people from his company over to his house for murder mystery that goes a little bit awry. Everyone is asked to quarantine to separate rooms of this mansion where they are and they're going to be all interviewed by a detective to figure out what actually happened at this murder mystery party. And so it actually works out. We all are quarantined in separate rooms and we each have are featured in various episodes. Um, and the music is actually really amazing. We're actually coming out with a cast album of this yes. concert um, and and wanting to really get it out there and have people maybe do their own video versions of of this quarantine musical yeah it's a lot of fun to watch and I love how creative this whole team was in putting this together what is it like producing like this show in quarantine like what did it feel like doing this it was tricky definitely because I'm used to just being the actor right the performer yes. and I also had to be a lighting designer I had to be a camera op I had to direct myself and choreograph myself <laughs> and um, you know like I was a recording artist I was we were all all of these things for ourselves I had to be hair and makeup I didn't have someone helping me with those types of things because we're all you know we're all stuck in quarantine here alone so it, it was an exciting challenge to get to take yeah. on all of those roles. You and a bunch of other Broadway stars have kind of joined the Hallmark Channel's like Countdown to Christmas, right? Yeah, there are several of us doing them this holiday season because we're all available. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So thank God that they're doing these. They make so many great um, holiday movies. So you're doing a royal holiday. Um, yes. And Aaron Tveit, right? And Christmas yes. Town. Amazing. Tell us about the movie. Um, it's so sweet. It's called a Royal Holiday, and um, I get to fall in love with the prince and finally star opposite Aaron. Um, you know, I've wanted to work with Aaron for a long time. We've done concerts and stuff together, but never a full like project. So it was very special. I also got to reunite with my fairy godmother from Cinderella on Broadway, Victoria Clark. Oh um, she plays uh, the queen. She literally plays the queen in the movie, and it, she's just she's absolutely perfect. Um, and then Crystal Joy Brown is in the company. She's the current Eliza and Hamilton on. 
Broadway, as well yeah. as Tom McGowan, who has been a wizard in Wicked. And so there were a, we had a whole Broadway crew um, getting to do this movie together. Well, I, you know, I'm so happy that you're staying active and doing everything that you love to do because we love watching you and we love seeing you. And um, we just want to let everyone know a killer party, a murder mystery musical available now. So be sure to check it out. Um, Laura, thank you so much. Stay safe, stay well. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Sounds good. You too. Bye.